Hi folks, this is your MWIS fleeting view in association with Petzl. We'll have our first glimpse towards the weekend in a moment, but the midweek charts first of all, and we have high pressure which is centred up toward the north and strong easterly winds that are affecting the country for a few days ahead. These uh, powerful and gusty around some of the major summits and ridges and even downslope towards the western side of higher terrain. Strongest speeds focused across northern England, possibly across north Wales too, and more southwestern parts of the highlands. Lots of sunshine again across most of Scotland, some banks of cloud early in the day around the Pennines and a little bit cloudier across Wales overall might be enough to produce the odd spot of light showery rain. Otherwise, it's a dry and a bright day. Temperatures will be generally above a freezing point across the mountains, but will feel distinctly chillier where exposed to that wind. Dry and blustery conditions again on Thursday. Not quite as windy as Wednesday across northern England, but still very gusty and feeling chilly where exposed on those high tops. Plenty of sunshine around once more, best across western regions, bit of patchy cloud further towards the east. Just a chance of one or two showers forming over England and later in the day towards Wales, just coming in from the east. That's all just ahead of a small frontal system pivoting its way westwards across England and Wales through into Friday. Now there's some uncertainty on the northward extent of the rain. It seems to be focused around the Peak District, across the southern half of the Pennines and across into Wales where there's the risk of one or two heavier showers breaking out from mid and south Wales in particular by the afternoon. All rather murky and dull across these areas where rain is around. A chance that the Lake District could just escape dry, but just watch for some rain encroaching in from the south at times. Scotland stays dry and sunny with best of conditions extensively in western areas. It will be windy though, really across most regions, southern Scotland, across into northern England, gale force winds likely across the hills and mountains. A general area of low pressure is expected to move around slowly into the weekend, producing areas of rain and showers, but quite a bit of uncertainty exactly on the detail at this stage. The greater risk seems to be again across England and Wales. Scotland looks somewhat drier. Northern and western areas perhaps best favoured again for some sunshine, where it will feel pleasant if sheltered, but that keen east to northeast of the wind will really take the edge off the temperatures where exposed and feeling really chilly across more northern and northeastern parts of the highlands. Cool as well where rain or showers are around for England and Wales. Now it looks as though low pressure is going to move out into the North Sea by Sunday but that leaves still a legacy of areas of showers. Some sunny spells around as well and it could well be that northern Scotland sees more in the way of showers by this stage as the wind turns further around towards the north and that dragging in some increasingly chillier air across northern Scotland with showers then falling as some snow or some hail as summit temperatures fall back just below freezing point. It could be that northern England and possibly Wales see longer drier spells with some sunshine but always just watch one or two showers popping up especially by the afternoon. The wind possibly not as strong then for England and Wales compared to previous days. Keep an eye on all your local details for three days ahead on our website that is your MWIS fleeting view in association with Petzl.